and welcome to another episode of the Albina Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. We're going to look at a beer that was picked up for me by Greg, so thank you very much, Greg. This beer is right here. Uh oh, I'm going to fart. Oh, there we go, I farted. This is the first beer I've ever had from Halo. From the Halo Brewing Company in Toronto on Wallace Avenue. This is Pipe Dream, which is a dry hopped grisette at 4.8% alcohol by volume. Now, for those of you that do not know a grisette, a grisette is basically basically a saison, but made for miners instead of farmers. And I'm talking about miners, you know, with pickaxes underground, not miners like what would get you put in jail if you did things with. So I wouldn't think that dry hopping is something that was normally done with one of these. So it could be considered probably a new age uh, look to an old favorite. I actually usually enjoy grisettes because they don't usually have as much coriander or clove or uh, nutmeg and that sort of stuff on them as others do. And there you go. Beautiful haze, you can't see through it. Beautiful straw color beautiful bright white head. I really like the uh, visuals of this beer. I don't see any carbonation moving though. Oh, tiny bits. Tiny bits if I get my eye right up to the glass. Let's move that hair off the glass. There we go. Get my eye right here. Little tiny bits of, of water, uh, water of uh, carbonation moving. A little tiny bit of a snap crackle pop. I really like the look of that. That's a uh, fairly small bubbles, like micro bubbles on that head. It's fine, it's very fine. Scent? Wow, um, yeah, okay, so, uh, there are a lot of, uh, sour IPAs and stuff I've had recently that I've been in love with, and this smells like them, but without the sourness. This smells kind of like, say, uh, Four Winds Nectar Nectoris, or uh, um, Yala Yala Citra from uh, from uh, Half Hours on Earth. Uh, it, it it smells like uh, it, it, it's just very citrusy, very yeah, like orange, mango, uh, some papaya. Orange, mango, papaya, passion fruit. A little bit of lemon. And a little bit of a sweetness to it up at the forefront. Like, not not, um, not the fruity sweetness, because all those fruits are kind of sweet and uh, sour at the same time, but just a just a hoppy, uh, not a hoppy, a malty sweetness. It, it, it smells really nice. Let's try it. Cheers. I'm really excited. Okay, this is the first beer I've ever had from Halo, and I have one other beer from them, it's a pale ale, a dry hopped pale ale, and all I can say is, this beer makes me really excited for the next beer, and normally I would have started with the pale ale because it's, uh, it's, it's more just an, a simple beer, but uh, I wanted to try this one because it was lower ABV. I mean, excuse me, under 5% means that I can drink a couple, I can review a couple. And that just, uh, that called me, so I tried it, and oh my god, I love this beer. Uh, light to medium bodied, a low carbonation, there is an effervescence that plays on the tongue, but it's very low, it's micro bubbles. But juicy very juicy much uh, juicy like a juicy like a Vermont style IPA with a uh, orange mango papaya and some lemon then it dries out with some lemon peel some uh, grapefruit peel and some coriander and it finishes with just a clove dryness 
uh, just clovey dryness. All in all, I, I actually think this is a great beer. The dryness of the cloves helps make the bitterness of the hops just kind of dwindle into this drying, uh, drying Moorish finish because it's leaving, a, a, it's leaving its, its touch on the back of your throat, but it, since it's not really bitter, you just want to take another sip to wash it down. And when you take another sip, you get all that beautiful juiciness again, and then you get that whole back end starting again, that, that bitter peel, that uh, dryness from the clove, and then it emanates down into an almost uh, almost biscuity finish. Fuck, I really like this beer. I really do. Um, I don't even know. Uh, I don't know enough to know that I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know why this brewery wasn't known to Greg. I mean, I'm like, hey, have you ever tried anything from Halo? Where's Halo compared to you? He's like, oh, it's not all that far. But I've never heard of them. And, um, th this is a great little beer. I really enjoy this Grisette. Um, Halo Pipe Dreams. Probably my favorite beer that I've drank this month, to be honest with you. Uh, and I, uh, for those of you that follow me on Untapped or anything like that, I drink a lot of beers. Uh, usually I only drink one of each beer, unless it's a beer I really love, and then I might go back to it. Usually if I go back to it, I'll never untap it again. Usually you only see me untap something once. Um, it's the reason why I don't have as many, don't have as many of the newer badges as I could, because I only tap something in once, and I try not to drink it again unless I, unless I love it. I just want to try everything. I want to try everything and experience all the different beers that are out there. If you live in the Niagara region and you want to come experience some beers with me, we might be able to make that happen. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. What do I think of this beer? I think it's an easy 9 out of 10. I think I'd make a grisette dance. I'm about to burp one second. Ooh. Good thing it's a low carbonation because it's not a big burp. Uh, I would make a grisette dance, but since nobody comes down here to do these with me anymore, dances kind of lose their fun. The dances were more fun when there was people here cheering you on and stuff, and and chirping from the background and such. So um, yeah, out of ten, nine out of ten for Halo's Pipe Dream Dry Hop Grisette. Thank you guys. Thank you, Greg. Bye.